Using the model is the trick, uh, <laughs> is the easy part. Mm -hmm. The MR kit has been out since 2023, and I finally found some time to have some fun with it. For those who don't know, the machine learning kit allows you to import pre-trained models in the form of Onyx files into your Mendix app. It is possible to create, train, and package your own models. But today I will be using a model I found on GitHub in the Onyx Model Zoo. The Model Zoo is a collection of models which are sourced from prominent open source repositories. Their aim is to increase the spread and usage of AI and to enable developers and researchers on their learning journeys. In this video, I will be implementing the FER plus emotion recognition model. It's a computer vision model able to detect eight possible emotions in faces. This model expects an image and produces an array of scores, one for each emotion. So to set up, there's nothing to download in Mendix. The ML kit is already part of Studio Pro by default, but we do need to download the model from GitHub. So make sure to click the download link for the specific model and don't just download the repo, that doesn't work. So you can also verify if the model is valid and get some other info on it by going to netron.app and you can use this to verify the model. So to implement this model using the ML kit, we need to do three things. First off, we need to create a Java action which will prepare the image for the model. Next up, we need to import the model and create a ML mapping document. Last up, we need to handle the results from the model and process them using another Java action. So this first step, in my opinion, is the hardest part. So we're going to skip that for now and go straight to importing the model. So to do this, we're just going to right click on a folder or a module and select add other. And then we're going to look for ML model mapping. We need to give it a name. And then we can just click import model at the top and we can select our Onyx file. Now Studio Pro is going to automatically extract the input and the output information, and it's going to create the entities required in our domain model. So this step is actually crucial because we want the return type of our pre-processing Java action to be the input entity that was created for the mapping. So now we can move on to the first Java action. So here's the action I created to prepare the image. This action does three things. It first accepts the image in the form of a base64 string. The image is then resized to be 64 by 64 pixels, and it is transformed into a four-dimensional float array. And then finally, we set that onto our input object and we return that entity. Now, every implementation may differ. Different models are going to have different requirements on how you should prepare the data or the image for the model. Most of them, at minimum, will require the image to be resized smaller. I would also suggest brushing up on your Mendix Runtime Java API, as it's best to create the entity and set that data directly in the Java action. So next, we need to handle the inference results from the model. The output from each model is going to differ slightly, but this model puts out an array of decimals, which will have higher or lower values depending on the confidence for each emotion. So this action is a bit simpler. It accepts the model output entity as a parameter and then matches them to their correct labels before returning a JSON string representing the data. After that, it's a simple matter of importing the scores with a JSON import map. Now we can run this app and test it out. So here I have just a simple dashboard just to upload and resize the image if needed. So I'm going to upload this image I took some selfies for us to test this out. So let's use this one where I'm making an angry face. And there we can see anger has its highest value. It's provided a score for other emotions as well, but the highest value is the one that it's most confident about. So now let's use the sad face selfie. And taking a second, but we can see it's correctly guessed sad as the major emotion. As you can see, using the model is the easy part. The tricky bit is preparing your data and interpreting the results in Java. If you're like me and you don't have much Java experience, I've linked some other examples and resources in the description below, as well as this project, which you can download and play around with. That's all for now. Until next time, I'm Ryan Mocky, and this is the ML Kit.